So today at Dogger Bank Wind Farm, we generated first power from the first turbines that have been installed at the wind farm. So the first string of turbines has energized and provided electricity into the national grid. This is a really amazing moment for our project. We've been working for over 10 years with our project partners to get to this point, And soon we will be producing so much electricity that we will be able to control about 5% of UK's electricity right from this facility behind me. And that's really significant because the northeast of England will be playing such an important role in providing security of supply to UK electricity and helping the UK to meet its net zero goals. I think that this is a really proud moment for the region. This will be the world's largest offshore wind farm when it's completed in 2026. And what we've been able to do with offshore wind all across the UK, but also here in the Northeast, is replace other industries with new clean electricity. And this is a really amazing industry for the supply chain in the region because a lot of the suppliers have moved from other industries into offshore wind and are now helping to build this really important new industry. We continue to build more turbines offshore and those will be added into the power generation over the next year when we hope to fully commission the first phase Dogger Bank A in the summer of 2024. That will be the first 1.2 gigawatts which can power up to 2 million UK homes. Over the following two years up to 2026 we'll install the next two phases so Dogger Bank B should be fully commissioned in 2025 and Dogger Bank C in 2026 and at that point we'll be generating 3.6 gigawatts of electricity to power around 6 million UK homes and all of that power is controlled from this facility where we will also be performing all of the operations and maintenance. I think that the region has such an important industrial heritage and where we're standing right now is McNulty's shipyard previously and it was really sad to see industry like shipbuilding move away from the region so what better to replace it with than an operations and maintenance base for the world's largest offshore wind farm. Dogger Bank Wind Farm has created over 400 long-term, highly skilled, highly paid jobs here at the Port of Tyne. And that's directly with Equinor um, or our project partners and also with our supply chain. And these jobs are great, fantastic jobs for young people who are interested in the environment, interested in climate change, and will really help the UK move towards a new energy system. So it's really exciting time. And there's lots of young people joining us as well through things like our apprenticeship scheme that we've just started. My role as the stakeholder manager is to really engage with the local community and we've been telling everyone about this moment, we've been building up to this time and it's a really proud moment for me and the whole team here um, to see this. I, I was actually the first employee for Equinor to be based here in the northeast of England so it's fantastic now to see everyone else joining and us really building a big operational hub for the future. I think that for the team here in the Port of Tyne, we've been building up the team over the past couple of years. We've built this amazing new facility, which is the world's most advanced operations and maintenance space. And now we're able to get going and start operating and maintaining those turbines. And we're gonna be here for at least 35 years, operating and maintaining this wind farm. Um, so this is just the start. <laughs> <laughs>